can hear your name reverberating throughout the halls of human history, bouncing off the walls of human hearts, riding on the waves of sound, transcending and transmitting life to every substance you were there. Before dust had formed, before living things had beating hearts, you hovered over the face of the dawn as it broke for the first time, for darkness was no match for you. And proud as it may be, it had to bend for you, to bow and to break and move aside for you. And with four words come into subjection to you, let there be light. And with the void as your canvas, you began to paint. Mystery and majesty mingled together to manifest the wonder of this world. Manifold miracles too profound to pronounce, and yet they know when it's their time to bow. Just like we know when it's our time to bow. For just like the stars in radiant splendor, awaiting your permission to light up the sky. You are the substance of our lives, the subject of our awe and the stillness in our storm, rising above the tides of intimidating times, for they are dim in the light of you. They perish at the sight of you. They tremble at the mention of you, for you are a mighty God with a stronger arm than the greatest champions that history has ever known, greater than the might of Pharaoh's army and the height of Jericho's walls, deeper than the depths of Daniel's den and brighter than the blaze of Babylon's furnace, more piercing than the 400 years of heaven's silence. You broke the silence and in doing so, you broke the curse, setting in motion a salvation narrative that not even Herod could reverse. You are purer than the innocence of Mary's womb and fiercer than the raging waters that calmed beneath your feet, condemning sickness to the pit and setting captives free. 